Ahoy, this is Zdenka. I've got here very interesting products here today. If you would like to take your iPhone photography and filmmaking to the whole next level, just like you would do with DSLR or mirrorless camera, then you should check out these two kits I have here. Nissi Landscape and Cinema Filter Kit. Nissi is well known for making these square filters used for landscape photography. They have great quality filters, so they decided to come up with iPhone sets. They are exactly the same like the filters for the big cameras, except they are just smaller for iPhones. Technically, there are three sets. Landscape kit, filmmaker kit, and cinema kit. I've got these two. In this video, I will explain what each filter does, how you can use it, We'll check quality, a lot of examples will be included. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm not being paid by Nissi. They are not telling me what to say. They supplied these two sets for studio and two more sets for a giveaway. So keep watching to find out how you can participate to win one of those sets. What is the main difference between those two sets I have here? Cinema Kit has round filters for filmmaking and landscape kit has those square filters for photography, which make a huge difference when you take landscape photos. All three kits have the core of the system, which is the Nissi IPA holder. The holder attaches to your phone and it can be also used with a phone case. It has a very soft finish here, so it won't scratch your screen. So to this holder, you can attach various round filters which are, by the way, stackable. So you can mix and match streak, mist, variable anti-filter, and so on. Or you can attach another Nissi P2 holder, which is used for those square filters for landscape photography. What is in a cinema kit for filmmaking? One to five stop VND filter, which is used when you want to get out of automatic video mode and start filming in manual mode to introduce natural motion blur. The video will look less like a smartphone footage and more cinematic. I have tested this filter and there is no crosshatch pattern. The material is not cheap. It has quality to it. It's one to five stop, so it will be great on most days, especially on overcast days. They unfortunately did not include six to nine stop variable ND filter, which I use quite a lot here because we have a lot of bright days. Next filter is quarter black mist filter. Here is a regular look without the filter. And here is the look you get with the mist filter. It makes very soft looking footage. You can see how the light sort of goes into mist. It's not so harsh anymore. It is used a lot in Hollywood as it makes skin softer looking. Now these two basic filters you would get in the third set, which I don't have here, the Filmmaker Kit. And this is how you stack them together. The Cinema Kit has two more filters, Allure Streak Blue and Allure Streak Orange. It will give you the same anamorphic light streaks, except you don't need to use the actual anamorphic lens. This is how the blue streak looks like, and here is how the orange streak looks like. Because these are filters, you can turn them in any direction you want. Let's add a mist filter to the mix. See, again, this is how you can stack them up. The filter holder is not plastic. It's heavy duty. It's got some weight to it. So naturally we all might be thinking, well, we cannot use this filter kit with gimbals like DJI Osmo Mobile 6 or other smartphone gimbals which have very little payload. I was using Zoom Smooth 5 gimbal and when I stacked those filters together, it actually struggled to pull the setup. You can film either handheld in apps like ProTake and Filmic Pro, which give you extra stabilization, or you need to use gimbals like Fiutech Scorp Mini, Xeon Crane M3, Moza Mini P Max. All those gimbals I have reviewed on this channel and they are made for heavy payloads. You can also use them with mirrorless cameras and action cameras. So this is the only downside to this. All right, giveaway time to win this cinema filter kit from Nissi. All you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to this channel, like the video and comment 
below the video in a comment section answer to a very simple question. What light streak do you like better? Orange or blue? Let's move on and check out the landscape kit. As I mentioned before, you get the IPA holder and also P2 holder. When you look at the P2 holder, you can see that it can hold two filters. In this landscape kit, there are three filters included. First one is HD polarizer. What is this for? Let's take a look at this clip and keep looking at the water. When I twist the polarizer, when I turn it, it will get rid of any reflection. You will see how much more detail in the water is. The, the worker gets darker. It's perfect for wet day photography. When you're in the woods and you want to take away the reflection, you get rich tones and colors. It will really pop. It's also great for long exposure photos, lake photos. This is useful in many situations. Next filter is medium graduated ND filter. What is this? Here is a shot without such a filter. And here is a shot with this filter. Do you see how much more detail you get in the sky without making the bottom portion of the photo too dark? Here are some long exposure photos I did. And here is the final photo after further editing it in Lightroom. This filter makes a difference between amateur looking snapshot and this higher level photo. You can stack with a polarizer to get an even better result. You get a darker sky and you get rid of the reflection. Last filter is ND64 6 stop. This is used for long exposure photography. Now, Moment app, for example, and Reexpose and several other apps have new feature added where you don't need such a filter to take long exposure photos. However, if you still prefer to do it the traditional way, you might get better results actually with this filter. You will get a lot more details in a photos. And if you happen to have only this set and want to do video, you can shoot in manual mode as this filter will block the excessive light. This landscape filter set can definitely bring the whole iPhone photography to the next level. Um, in a little while, I'm going to be creating a tutorial on how to create long exposure photos on iPhone. I'm really looking forward to this, but now giveaway time to win this filter kit. You must be again subscribed to this channel and write in the comments below what do you mostly take photos of? What is your favorite type of photography? I simply want to know a little bit more about you. The winners will be announced in the next video in a comment section. The comment will be pinned to the top. I have asked Nissi directly if they are planning on releasing more filters you can purchase separately and add edits to those kits. Their answer was absolutely yes. And they also asked me to ask you, the audience, what other filters you would like to see down the road. Links to these products can be found below the video in the video description for those interested. It's time to put those filters to work and create some photography and video tutorials. See you in the next video. Ciao. Ahoy.